shook up the world. I shook up the world. Wait a minute, Cash. Wait a minute. Hold you it. must listen to me. Hey, what's up guys? This is Boxing Kangom here and today we are going to look at who Deontay Wilder's next realistic opponent is going to be. We'll look into the opponents out there who have been rumoured to face Deontay Wilder next, other fighters who are available and also my pick who I think he should take on considering this will be his first fight back under new trainer Malik Scott and also taking into consideration how long he's been inactive and out of boxing. So since we heard at the start of the week Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua is on the brink of being finally announced, I thought it'd be a good idea to have a look into who Deontay Wilder will now be facing next. We've had rumours of fights with Andy Ruiz, Charles Martin, Robert Hellenius and Carlos Negron. But since then we've learned the next fight the PBC one anyway is to push for Andy Ruiz in a fight against fellow PBC fighter Luis Ortiz, which looks to be aimed for in the early spring. Charles Martin, however, at this time he is available, but it was rumoured Deontay Wilder priced himself out a fight with Prince Charles. I walk this earth like a god. That's an opponent I still wouldn't rule out at the moment. Then we have Robert Hellenius, but from a recent interview I just watched with Adam Kaunaki, who suffered a shock KO loss to Hellenius, that rematch between the two looks to be getting announced in the coming weeks. So that just leaves the last rumoured opponent, Carlos Negron, but to be honest I just can't see that fight happening at all, and my reason for that is because that was just a rumour which started on Twitter from a fake Michael Benson account. So after taking into consideration how long Deontay Wilder has been out the ring and the manner he was beaten by Tyson Fury, and not to forget this will be his first fight under Malik Scott, I think an ideal opponent for Deontay Wilder to come back to would be an Efe Jagba or a Marius Huak. And I know some people might not completely agree with that, but I believe Deontay Wilder needs a fight like this to get his confidence back. Obviously, Efe Jogba poses a much bigger threat than Marius Huak, but these type of opponents are ideal for Wilder right now, and, you know, will give him a chance to put on, show what he's worked on with Malik Scott, as a Jogba and Huak are really, really slow on their feet. Also, these guys are huge and Deontay Wilder fighting the likes of an Andy Ruiz type fighter won't benefit him at all at the moment if the ultimate goal is to try and get revenge on Tyson Fury. If Wilder were to knock out Efe Jogba or Marius Wack, they are both statements in my opinion. Jogba has spoke some shit on Wilder recently, so there's a bit of needle there. And I believe that fight could get made despite Efe Jogba being a top ranked fighter. If Wilder was to knock out Marius Huak, leave him on his back, that would be a huge statement as well. Huak has been stopped three times, but always on his feet and never been knocked down. So ultimately, the comeback fight I'd like to see would be the more active fighter I've mentioned of the two, and that's Marius Huak, and for Deontay Wilder to make a fucking statement. Get that bomb squad riding the wave again. Let me know what you guys think. That's it. That's it. That's it. Wait, on that side of the chair? Other side. Other side. That's it. Wait, on that side? Other side. Other side. That's it. Other side. Other side. That's it. 